All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn CSS grid by make, pardon me, by building a magazine, step one. So now we're going to begin with our standard HTML boilerplate. We'll add a doc type declaration, an HTML element specifying this page is in English, a head element, and a body element. We'll also add a meta tag with the appropriate char set and a meta tag for mobile responsiveness within the head element. Okay. So we know how to do most of this stuff except for the last thing, uh, but we got a W3 school page open for that one. So let's get this uh, knocked out. So first we're gonna start with the doc type thing. So we'll open up a tag like this and we'll say caps lock doc, nope, 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 caps lock exclamation point doc type, all right? And then after that, we'll say HTML in lowercase. Then we're gonna open, pardon me, open up another tag and do HTML in that one. And we'll close HTML like that. And then for the, uh, after the HTML, we'll have the uh, lang attribute and we'll set it to en for English, all right? So now inside of this HTML, we're gonna have the head and the body. So let's start off by making the head like this, close head. And then we'll do the same for body. So open body and close body. All right, whoops, just like that. So inside of this head, we're gonna have the meta tag for the char set. So we'll have, uh, excuse me, in here we'll do meta, excuse me, meta like this. And then inside here we'll do char set equals, and then we'll say UTF hyphen eight like that. And then we're also gonna do another meta tag. And for this one, we're gonna have to do something. It's not different, we have done this before, but the last time they told us what to do and this time we don't remember. So instead of going back and looking at our free code camp, uh, our old free code camp uh, projects, which I think is a little bit lame, uh, let's just go over to the source over here to W3 schools. And uh, we've got this responsive web design, the viewport. We could read all this if we felt like it, but we pretty much, it's pretty much cut and dry. We're just gonna take this, the meta name viewport content, it's gonna be the width equals the device width. So whatever the device width is, is what the width's gonna be. And then the initial scale is gonna be 1.0, which is just a regular scale. So let's just take this whole thing, since we know where the source is now, since we know where to get it, uh, bring it over here and drop it right inside this meta tag. Thusly, in fact, we can just highlight the meta tag we got and drop it like there. And so now we've got that, let's check it. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to step two and we'll see you next time.